I'm with this group called the Sausage Factory, right? Very nice guys. And they're like, hey, I'm part of it. We're going to do a show on this movie. And I will admit, I did not pay money for this. I saw this on a cam download and it was good enough and I'm honest enough to admit that because I did not like Man of Steel. In fact, I fucking hated it. I hated Zack Snyder's last movie, Sucker Punch. The trailers didn't look good to me. The premise, I thought it was a rush job. I'm like, Man of Steel, instead of building, you're rushing into this. And I was always the guy that's like, hey, at least Ben Affleck. I'm a big Ben Affleck fan. He was the bomb in Phantom Zeal. I love the Daredevil, especially the director's cut. No, I did not see the TV show of it. Maybe one day down the road of Daredevil. And a good movie you can see anywhere. And I did not want to because you vote with your wallet. And this movie will make a shitload of money and doesn't deserve it. And I disagree with the Rotten Tomatoes 30%, which is it should be lower. Because this movie is a worthless piece of shit. That I swear to God, I want to take a hand of the thunder of God and punch a hole through the world right now. Like, I would yell and scream and do over-the-top stuff, but it would hurt my voice. And this movie shouldn't be hurting my voice. I'm not going to let it do it. It doesn't do jack shit for me. And I look over here, because if I look in the camera, I just fucking... Fuck, 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 fuck. I swear to God, I want to rip my fucking face off and swallow it. So it can shit out of my asshole because the shit that goes down my eyes would be a better sight to see than what I just fucking saw. And I hate to say it, this is probably even more, maybe more pissed off than Man of Steel Boner. Because you had the potential. You had potential. You had potential. And you fucked it up. Spoilers. Starting now, you take The Dark Knight Returns, which is a great comic book. Or at least I love the animated film voiced by Peter Weller. Love that movie. It's a shitload better than this movie. You take the death of Superman, which I have it right over there. My favorite Superman comic. And you stuffed it in, like, through a tight asshole, and with a twist, you thought you'd get a diamond, and you stick a piece of coal with a twist, you get a diamond, and no, you just did nothing there but a fucking steam palm. It's like you're going to take Man of Steel 2, which I didn't fucking like Man of Steel 1, the repercussions of the ending of Man of Steel, because you fucked up. You're going to take introducing a new Batman. you don't going to take Wonder Woman, fit her ass in here. you don't going to take fucking Dark Death of Superman, which could be a whole entire movie by itself. You're going to stuff that in there. you don't going to take the... the the Dark Knight Returns, which is an entire movie you could do. Hell, that's a two-part movie you could do by itself. You don't stuff that in there. You're stuffing everything in so you get fucking Spider-Man 3. And yes, it is as bad as Spider-Man 3. Because I fucking hate Spider-Man 3. It's just as bad. You want to know comparisons? Look at Venom. You look at Doomsday. Venom. You fucked him up in Spider-Man 3. Or Hollywood, and then Doomsday, you fucked them up in this movie. Same fucking thing. You just throw Venom Doomsday into a shitty third act. We have 50 fucking things going on. You got Superman, who's a super asshole, a super shithead, a super fuck face, so that when he dies, I'm like, yeah, he's dead. Good. Fucking good. I guess Luther Jr. is the fucking good guy in this movie, only he's a piece of shit named Jesse Eisenberg. He's a fucking dumbass in real life, because he said the Comic-Con was like the fucking Holocaust, and he's a fucking dipshit actor in this movie, because he thinks to take Aaron Enigma and Jim Carrey, and then 
bumping up to 11, and he's fucking popping cherries in the people's mouth and licking his fingers, my little popping, popping cherries out of people's assholes. And fucking saying, ding dong, the god is dead, he's the Wizard of Oz, well, you know, take the Kyrie Long. Cowardly Lion and the fuck Tin Man have him game fuck this guy, this twink motherfucker, and he liked it. And that's not a condemnation to anyone who happens to be gay. That's a condemnation to this guy because he likes pain. You stick two dicks in your ass, that's pain. He likes pain because he likes giving pain. Did you anytime I see Jesse Eisenberg in this movie? It's fucking pain. It's fucking pain and every blood cell in my body. Every time I want to see him, I want to punch Jesse Eisenberg in the fucking face. Oh, he's not Lex Luthor. He's playing Junior. Well, you t t t today, Junior. <coughs> oh, but what's all right being different? Okay, if you want to be different, you got to make it good. You know, good? Different. You can do it different 50 fucking ways, but if it's not good, it's not good. If it's shit, it's shit. It doesn't matter which asshole it comes from. It still smells like shit. Shit comes from a teen, shit comes from Superman, shit comes from a god, shit comes from a snail, it's still shit, and it's still fucking stinks. Butt fuck versus shithead dawn of assholes. It's what the fuck this movie is. You tell me. What about Ben Affleck? You know what? you should have done is made a solo Batman movie instead have a solo Batman movie come out this year not a two and a half hour movie that the one fucking good scene is a three minute fight that you saw in the trailer it's three minutes long it comes out in like an hour and fifty fucking minutes into a two and a half hour movie and this film should not even be called Batman vs Superman because there is no verses. This is just as much verses as Alien vs. Predator, Assholes vs. Penises. I should have fucking known, because they couldn't even do that fucking tower right. Batman v Superman. V for what? For fucking Mark Senior? Is Mark Senior gonna be in the fucking movie? Is Robert Ingram gonna be in there? It's fucking Alien? It's versus, not V. V what? For Viagra? Because you're so much of a limp dick movie, you need Viagra to put it out of there. And that's what I want to do the do. I want to punch the camera in the face if it was a person. But, and then, let's, let's face it, I don't want to hurt anyone with the movie. It is a movie at the end of the day. I'm just unleashing some emotion. And I had zero interest, by the way. And even then, I'm like, what in the fuck? If you like the film, that's fine. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. You're a Marvel fanboy. Um, I love the animated DC films. Batman, Superman, Public Enemies, uh, Flashpoint Paradox, uh, The Dark Knight Returns of Peter fucking Weller. It's a much better movie. It's an excellent film. Good story. Good pacing. Makes more fucking sense. And Peter fucking Weller. And a much better Superman. I had a little issue with Superman. No more. That Superman is fucking Christopher Reeve compared to this Superman. This Superman is a fucking dickhead, sour put stone face. Who acts like he's got a fucking gigantic dildo up his ass for the entire fucking movie. But it's not quite reaching the prostate. So he's pissed off. Wonder Woman, the actress is shitty. I don't understand where the fuck it praise is. You, she you barely fucking talk. You barely understand what the fuck she's saying. What? Huh? You need subtitles? With like the five fucking lines of dialogue she has. She has a thick accent. I don't know what the fuck it is. That's, maybe that's what the accent is called. What the fuck it is. Or, you know, what the fuck is shit. You know, Russian, English, Spanish. Maybe this is what the fuck is. That's what it is. What the fuck is. And what she comes in, and you know, she does most of the fight against Doomsday at the end. Batman, he doesn't do jack shit. He shoots one fucking gas pellet. He fucking swings. Remember in the trailer when he swings away and you're thinking, based on the editing of the trailer, that it's Superman with the heat vision? No, that's Doomsday who now has laser eyes. Yeah, the last time I saw that was when they did that to Deadpool and that's when Origins Wolverine. And that movie fucking sucked too. 
I was not the biggest fan of Deadpool. I thought it was an okay but overrated film. But it is a masterpiece compared to this movie. Oh, you just love Marvel. I fucking hated Iron Man 3. I thought Iron Man 3 could suck my dick. And all the people shit on Age of Ultron. It's trying to fit too many things. And this isn't. You literally have a scene where Batman's ready. He puts the thing down. He's ready to fight Superman. Superman finds out that his fucking mom has been kidnapped. And then it stops. It says, Wonder Woman, her persona Diana, is looking at USB. And it literally takes minutes to see little teasers for their Justice League. Here's a security camera of the Flash. He's in a convenience store. Then, phew, phew. Here's Aquaman. Fuck it, Jason Mamma Mia. Roman Reigns impersonator. Just coming in and hitting the camera. And then you have Joel Morton with in the background some guy hanging there. And he's pissed off. Oh, this shit won't work. This shit won't work. I'm like, you know what? You would make a good bastard stopman. Why the fuck didn't they have? Well, fuck that. That movie will be shit anyway. So, uh, I daren't. And then he's just bitching and bitching. Turn the camera off. Yeah, that was so fucking worth it. The, there was one. The fucking. Superman is a fucking asshole. There's even a point where he's like, there never was a Superman. And he fucking leaves like a bitch to go into Arctic to see Kevin Costner playing with fucking rocks and talk about how some fucking cattle died for a good message. It's like Superman doesn't give a fuck about the world or he'll say it, but I don't buy it. He cares about Lois, but that's it. I mean, that's why he says a line. Lois is my world. That's right. All he gives shit about Lois. That's it. Oh, he saves people. Yeah, and the most depressing fucking montage of saving people I've ever seen in my fucking life. I know I'm jumping ahead. I'm jumping so ahead. I'm fucking going back in time. Just like a fucking scene with the Flash that you wouldn't fucking know. You like Jimmy Olsen? He fucking dies and no one fucking even catches it. <laughs> or no one cared, including the movie. I got like 50 things running my fucking head and I gotta... If I start from the beginning... They tell the same fucking origin that we already know about Batman. Remember how people complain about the Amazing Spider-Man films? Why are you telling the origin? We already know the fucking origin. Exactly! Same with Batman! Same with Superman. We already know the fucking origin. And all they did was Jeffrey D. Morgan as the father. They do it in slow mode and a shitload of fade in and fade outs. I wish the entire movie was just a fade out so I wouldn't see jack shit. And it's mixed in with Bruce as a boy falling in a well. And then a fucking bat come in from a fucking bat tornado. Surprise sci-fi channel didn't make that. Batnado coming soon from the makers of Sharknado. A fucking Batnado turns and fucking Bruce is flying up as he's, he's fucking Peter Pan. I guess he's thinking happy thoughts. Maybe he has a bat fetish. Well, of course he has a bat fetish. He has to be Batman. God damn this fuck. I mean, it looks fucking stupid. He's fucking floating from a bat tornado. A bat tornado. Then it cuts to uh, the end of Man of Steel. Like, I need to see that shitty ending again. Only from Bruce Wayne's point of view, and he's driving. And I'm like, what the fuck are you going to do, Bruce? What the fuck are you going to do? Buildings are falling down on you. What the fuck are you going to do? Seriously, what are you going to do? You're not Batman. What, what? You don't have any of your gadgets. What the fuck are you going to do? And I love the fact, remember when Man of Steel came out, and I was bitching about that ending, and people were defending and saying, The city is empty! They, the city is empty! You're a dumbass, man! You're a fucking fucktard! The city was empty! Really? 
Is that why when Ben Affleck is driving around, there's like a hundred people, there's people standing around looking, he's calling, and people answer in Wayne's uh, building, and then they look and go, oh wow, there's some fucking things going down, buildings are falling down, do 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 do. And they don't hurry their ass up and the fucking building crashes. And that's an interesting idea, but just all oh, the fucking bullshit that didn't need to be there in the first place. Just a man of steel. And I still hate man of steel. It's man of steel can still suck my dick. I hate the Superman. Just to me, Superman is the ideal of hope. Superman is the type of guy who will say, I fight for truth, justice, and the American way, and he buys it. He believes in it. He's a guy that we make fun of and go like, you're fucking full of shit. You're a boy scout. You wear a red and blue suit, and yeah, whatever. But he's like, I buy into this. This is who I am. Not this asshole. He's an asshole from outer space. I'm waiting for Dolphin to come in and go in, and you go in peace, this asshole. Bam, bam, bam. Maybe we're kryptonite bullets. Christopher Reeve. Oh, you can't compare. Yes, I can, because it just fucking did. Just another friend of mine, a good guy named Michael Keane, who hasn't seen the film, but he gave a good reason why I was talking with him. He's like, you know what? You didn't do Superman. Chris Evans is the Captain America. That's how you do Superman today. Does Chris Evans and Marvel? That's Superman. That's how Superman should be in DC. I'm like, you're exactly fucking right. Things aren't going perfect, but you tell that he's fucking Captain America. He gives a shit about people. And people shit on fucking... Uh, Age of Ultron? But first off, James Bayer could get the fucking shit out of Jesse Eisenberg. And second off, you have the Avengers saving people, and it's not this depressing montage that makes you want to put a bull in your brain. And he's, they've been established. Because you had three Iron Man movies. Yeah, I thought Iron Man 3 sucked it, but you still had three Iron Man movies. You still had two Captain America movies. You still had... Thor movies. You still have an Incredible Hulk movie. You still at least built it up. So it wasn't... People say Age of Ultron was a clusterfuck. I didn't really think so. This is. And this Superman, I don't buy. I don't buy a spiel. I don't buy a shtick. This is not my shtick there in the first place. So in the beginning, Bruce, yeah, he's, you know, he does save a girl. So I guess he was there for a purpose. And there's a guy who's laser trapped and lifts them up. And we'll see this guy later. And it's 18 months later. And it's in Africa. And Lois is caught. There's one of three times she gets saved in the fucking movie. There's terrorists and a trans murder. And Jimmy Olsen, if you like Jimmy Olsen character, Jimmy Olsen is a CIA guy that the terrorists shoot in the head. And no one ever references Jimmy Olsen. Not Lois, not Superman, nobody. So, if any Jimmy Olsen fans, he's gone. Don't blame me. There's a fucking article online where Jackson, Jack, where Zack Snyder says, Oh, I wanted to have some fun with the character. I couldn't fit him in. And him having fun with the character is the motherfucker getting shot in the head and no one mentioning him ever again? Wow! Wow! And this is the movie people are defending. And if you like the film, that's fine. But I don't want to hear shit about it. Let me take that back. You can explain why you like the film. But don't give me shit about just because I didn't like it. I'll give many valid reasons, like the pacing, it's boring, it's too fucking bloated, they're fitting too many goddamn storylines, they try and do a sequel, and then an origin of Batman, and then, uh, but th that's ha even has problems, and then Wonder Woman's fitting in there, and then stopping the movie for teasers to the other films, and then Doomsday, which did not need to be in the fucking movie. You ruined that storyline. You ruined the Dark Knight Returns storyline. You fucked up Hack Snyder. Hashtag Hack Snyder, you piece of fucking shit. 
Not in real life. I'm talking about in directing. And this comes from a guy I like Watchmen. I think Dawn of the Dead is the best movie the guy made. 300 is there. I was never the biggest fan. It's there. Sucker Punch was a piece of shit. Man of Steel I thought was a piece of shit. I think this is a piece of shit. So after Jimmy Olsen gets shot and killed, uh, a terrorist got Lois, and Superman just punches a guy, and the guy flies through the wall. And I guess didn't die or did die? I don't know. And then it cuts to this witness who's blaming Superman. Even though all these people are riddled with bullets, they just take this woman and, and say, yeah, he answers to no one. And the, there was an explosion, uh, or whatever the fuck he, she said, and she's like talking to a committee. And believe me, if you love committees and you love the news, sit fit, because you don't see a shitload more of the news and committee in your Batman v Superman. But fuck versus shithead dawn of assholes. A lot of news, a lot of sentence. I didn't I haven't seen this much fucking politics in fucking Phantom Menace. All they need was fucking taxes. Fucking bullshit movie. I hate to say it. I would rather watch Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight at the end. Honestly, just take Ben Aff as Batman and fit him into Dark Knight. Please, just do that. God damn it. Tis Ben Affleck tries. I mean, I'll get to him, but he's he's trying his best, but he has nothing to work with, folks. He's it feels like he's barely in the movie at times. And he, when he's there, he doesn't have jack shit to do. He definitely doesn't have a good writer. Yeah, one writer's from Argo, but the other writer's David Goyer. Yeah, I like Blade and Blade 2, but that was a long fucking time ago. He also did fucking demonic toys and arcade. Yeah, the writer of Arcade. People forget that. He wrote fucking Jumper. With fucking Hayden Christensen. Anyone remember that classic Jumper? Jump on my nuts. It would hurt less. So this witness just blames Superman. And this movie, everyone hates Superman. And I'm like, I don't blame him. I guess that's the point of the movie. Just Superman's a jerk off. Everyone hates Superman except Lois. And his mom. <laughs> and the only time you see anyone who liked him is that teeny montage. Which again has really depressing music. I'm like... Is... Anyway. So they blame Superman. He answered no one. I'm like... Why didn't Superman immediately go in there and say... Wait a minute, I hear this is going on. I mean, look at these bullets. Uh, am I the type of guy that will shoot fucking guns? I don't need fucking guns. And uh, it just makes us humans look like assholes, and we are assholes. But this movie makes it seem like every one of us is fucking assholes. I'll tell you one thing: if you hate stuff where it makes the human race look like a piece of shit, this is definitely one of them. I mean, I don't remember in the Avengers films. People thinking we're, you know, the Avengers are such pieces of shit. You know? I hate to say, even Iron Man 3, like, people look at Iron Man, they go, oh, cool Iron Man! Wow, like the kid and the, the big f guy who is a fan. And I hate to say it, I hate Iron Man 3, and I would rather watch that than this piece of shit. I fucking hate admitting that. Does. You know, fuck. Does this, does this really just, I, I, the Superman character, Man of Steel started it and this finished it. I mean, Superman is such a fucking sourpuss, stone face. You think Brandon Routh in Superman Returns is emo? You haven't seen nothing yet. Again, yeah, he was watching Lois Lane, which is stalkerish. Although, hey, you know, if you have S-ray vision. <laughs> which I guess he does not have in this movie. I guess there is no S-ray vision, which I'll get into that. 
Thought that was one of his powers, but I guess not for David Boyer, who wrote the fucking thing. One of the only times he did Clark Kent Lois actually bonding in some type of way in the film is he comes in and says, oh, I don't care what they're saying. I'm like, you don't care what they're saying. They're saying you're a killer. Wouldn't you just immediately go there and explain yourself? I mean, that's common sense. If I if some cops are saying, hey, Matt, you killed someone, I'd be like, well, um, let me walk up to you and like, hey, wait a minute, what the hell's going on? I didn't do shit. But you know what? That's just my common sense. You know, like Spidey sense. I, I guess Superman does not have common sense in this movie. That's another thing. And, you know, Christopher, I know people hate the comparison of Christopher Reeve, but Christopher Reeve actually had warmth. And he actually, you, it's like, that's, that's a guy, he's easy to make fun of because he's campy, he's corny. But you know what, at the end of the day, he's the guy that you want with you. Yeah, Batman is cool, but Superman's the type of guy that if your pet died, or you're thinking of suicide, or if you're doing this, Superman would give a shit. Dude, that's the kind of character he is. There's none of that in this movie. I defy anyone to tell me differently. I defy anyone. This is a more of an insult to Superman. And it's on top of a one that I hated, Man of Steel. That's the Superman movie I hate the most. Superman 4 technically is worse. Technically. But I'd rather watch that. Because I, I can laugh at it. It's sad that was Christopher Lee's last film. I wish he'd have to do another one. Hell, I wish his last film could have been The Death and then the second one, The Return of Superman. That would have been fantastic, but I can only dream that. I can only dream that. Like a 90s Superman movie, bat to bat, death and return. And that would have been the perfect ending. But you know, again, it's only in my dreams. No, we gotta have fucking Doomsday in that and this piece of shit. So... Again, one of the only times we get Clark Kent with Lois is he sits in the tub with his clothes on, and I don't buy this relationship. It's like they barely knew each other in the previous fucking movie. The first time you see Batman, cops go in. It's an aftermath. There's these women that I guess was part of a slave thing. There's some guys, bad guys chained up, branded. Later on, you find out that the brands, people who are put in prison, if they're branded, it's a death sentence. Why? I don't know why. That's why I wish there was a solo Batman movie before this to establish some of this shit. Because when you see Batman, it almost seems like you're watching the fourth film. It's like, wait a minute, what happened to parts one, two, and three? It's like you're watching Batman 4. I don't mean Batman Robin Batman 4, I'm talking about, like, if this Batman had a fourth Batman, like, this is where he would be. I know, I understand, it's this, he's an older Batman, he's more out of it, psycho, he's fucking Charles Bronson Batman, he's Death Wish 3 Batman. And I'm like, okay, I know in the comics he usually, he's a guy who doesn't kill. But hell, I'm a big fan of Michael Keaton Batman, so I can't really say, he should never kill, because... Of course, Batman Bad Returns, I think, are better movies. And at least they were solo movies about them. And no matter what you no matter how psychotic you think Michael Keaton is, he wasn't braining people in the neck. But then part of me is like, okay, that's a fucked up idea, but I love the Punisher. Okay, if you want to make Batman the Punisher, okay. But just put him in his own fucking movie. Cause the bits I liked was Batman. Ben Affleck did the best he could. I like Ben Affleck. I'm a Ben Affleck fan. Hell, I like fucking Paycheck. I watch Phantoms for Ben Affleck. He's doing the best he can, but he has a shitty director to work with. That's where you have that sad meme where the sound of silence. Because he's like, I can see what he's thinking. It's like, yeah, Zack Snyder, David Gore, you motherfuckers fucked up. And he's like, I totally agree. That's probably what, I mean, he didn't even hear what the fuck Henry Cavill was saying. Of course, can you blame him? Who the fuck, why should anyone listen to Henry Cavill? But, I mean, but anyway, okay, it's Aftermath. A guy is chained up and he's been branded. A cop sees Batman, misses point blank range like five fucking times, and Batman just heads out. And that's pretty much the first time we see Batman. Not a fight. 
non action sequence, just he's hanging around, a cop misses him, point blank range, and he disappears. He did disappear skin alive. And then it's him with Alfred, Jeremy Irons. Okay, I like Jeremy Irons as an actor. Again, he's doing the best that he can, but there's not enough screen time. There's not enough screen time. Third time. There's not enough screen time. There's not enough. It's not fucking enough. And you did hints as to why Batman's this way. Jeremy Irons talking about how everything's changed. And later on, what you saw in the trailer, the Robin uniform and the words from the Joker. I'm guessing. Although, since Superman kills so many people, why the fuck didn't he not kill the Joker? So you're telling me he's okay with killing all these other people, but he's not going to kill the Joker? So, if he's in Suicide Squad, he better be trying to kill the fucking Joker. Oh, what? Is it after this movie's over? Now Batman's going to change, and now he's going to ease up? Because now that I think about it, he does say something to the fact of... Then you say at the end, um, we're going to be better. Uh, we should be better. Which means you don't tone Batman down. So you're, not, you're probably not going to get more of that Charles Bronson Batman. Which again, it's just like you're working everything backwards and upside down and fucking. Here's what you do you have a Batman where he's normal. Then you have a Batman that maybe halfway through he becomes psychotic. And then you get to a Batman versus Superman. And then you do a little further. Then after that, then maybe by the third film he calms down or something. I know you don't want to be like Marvel. But they have a better track record lately than you. Maybe that's for a fucking reason. When it gets to the point that I love Ant-Man, who I've never fucking read a comic from, or Guardians of the Galaxy, which I never fucking heard of until the movie came out, more than your fucking film, with Batman and Superman, there's a fucking problem. There's a mistake being made. And it's like, okay, you hint Robin and a Joker. You hint everything's changed. But that's all you get from it. There's no explanation. So you don't spend time giving us the same fucking origin we've seen shitloads of times of how Bruce's parents died, which we know because we've seen ten fucking times. But you're not going to give people an explanation of why Batman is a bit more psychotic and world weary. Just showing a Robin uniform, it's like, I guess to, oh, that's why, to guess. To guess. Then I'm just thinking, you know what? I want to see that fucking movie. Let me see that fucking movie instead. And also, if Ben Affleck wants to do Under the Red Hood, how the fuck is that story going to work? Does this isn't Under the Red Hood a guy who killed people? And Batman's like, no, you're going too far. And yet Batman is doing the same fucking thing in this movie. He is the Red Hood in this movie. That's what I'm talking about. Like, if, if Ben Affleck's doing that, he's going to have to fucking explain some shit. It's like, if you want to go that route, you have to at least... You have to fucking build up to it. Or you have to fucking make it make sense. A little bit. And if you're just going, fuck it, we're just going, having fun, then just do your own goddamn movie. At least Tim Burton did that. People shit on that. Because it's not like the comments. At least Tim Burton's like, you know what? We're not building it. Where's fuck it? This is Batman. I just want to tell the story. Fuck you, Joker. The end. I'm like, okay. Uh, I'll be open to that. Fine. Cool. I love it. But. I, and I swear. I swear to God, there's more Luther. Son of Luther. How the fuck you want to call him? Which I'm, I'm also thinking, so wait a minute, you don't push in Wonder Woman, you don't push in 
Batman and Superman and Doomsday in the same fucking film, but instead of using Lex Luthor, you don't use his son? Who gave an incredibly irritating, annoying, cringeworthy performance? I thought. Like, he's fucking Woody Allen on crack. Was trying to do, like someone said, he's trying to do his Max Landis impression. It, 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 it just, I, 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 I swear, anytime he was on, I wanted to punch him in the face. And that's what you settle with? Like, you're putting all your eggs in one basket, and you settle for, you know what? We have all these people. Let's not have Lex Luthor. Let's have the son of Luthor. I mean, people mention, if you had Luther, you'd have some guy like Brian Cranston. Which, maybe that would work. Because Brian Cranston, to me, was the best part of that Godzilla movie. I like Brian Cranston as an actor. I would have been curious to see what he would have done. They said he would not be annoying like Jesse fucking Eisenberg. Where he's who's fucking, like, the evil twin of Michael Cera. They're fucking twins, and they're shitty, and they play the same goddamn thing. The one movie I like with Jesse Eisenberg is Zombieland. Social Network is an overrated crap. Jesse Eisenberg is an overrated fucking actor. He should not have been in this movie. Pissed, goddammit. So, I swear there's more Luther in this movie than fucking Batman! It's Batman vs. Superman, and there is no Batman vs. Superman. For most of the fucking movie. For like the first hour, they only meet one god, like two goddamn times. They meet in one scene that you saw in the trailer when they shook hands, and they meet in one other scene that you saw in the trailer. You saw the whole fucking thing in the trailer. The, and you saw the entire fucking scene. Where the Batman, Batmobile flips, he rips it open. And says something that I'm like, Superman would say that line? He would talk about, this is mercy? Consider this mercy with his sourpuss face. I'm like, this is fucking Superman? Again, you think Brandon Routh's an emo asshole? And this isn't? Explain it to me. I really would love to know. Well, it's this world. Then fuck the world. As this guy was saying, fuck the world. Fuck the world. Fuck the world. Fuck the world. This world to stick in their ass. Fuck this cockamamie, pretentious as fuck world. God damn it. It's not all about sunshine and rainbows. I'm not saying it has to be. But how, this is Superman in name only. Nothing about this guy is Superman other than the costume, and he's called Superman. That's it. Nothing about his character is Superman. Nothing. And there's a shitload of Luther explaining the kryptonite, kryptonite they found, what kryptonite is, talking to Holly Hunter, Senator, about this kryptonite, and how he's a god, and you know you need a silver bullet just in case. Here's your silver bullet. You have the remember the guy who has laid caught? He gets he sees a statue of Superman, and he fucking climbs up. This leg is like climbs up and and I swear, m most of this movie is just seeing how much people hate Superman. Which is, I'm like, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I don't think that's the way he should be. This is my prerogative. I mean, isn't the point of Batman vs Superman? Uh, day versus night. There's no day with Superman. It's like night versus nighter. It's fucking night versus full moon versus half moon. It's fucking asshole versus psychopath. Uh, it's, it's, um, but at least Ben Affleck, I mean, he's I just like him more as an actor, and he has the one good action scene in this movie. Which made me smirk. I'm like, can we take that scene and put it in the better movie? Can we have a Batman movie instead? And 
explain some shit, build up some shit. So it doesn't look like you got you right from the beginning, but it looks like you came in in the 50 minute mark. Or let me backtrack, make it more sense. You go into seeing this Batman, this new world, and it seems like you walked into his fourth movie. What? Hey, let's just kill Jimmy Olsen for fun. Let's just have this legless guy climbing on statues, and he'll get into the plot later because of a jar of piss. You ever seen where uh, Jesse Eisenberg has a Jolly Rancher? And, this, uh, and it cuts between this over the top music of Let's uh, Junior. Uh, I might as well just call him Junior. It's J.C. Eisenberg Jr. going to the fucking ship. And then he shaving off Zod's fingerprints for later. He pops the rancher in a guy's mouth, licks his lips. Oh, uh, yeah, you pop the cherries out of people's assholes. And so, I mean, Bruce, he's just looking at a computer, looking for this guy who may be putting a dirty bomb into Gotham. Uh, Lois has his useless subplot of looking to a bullet because of Africa. Bullshit. That literally leads to fucking nowhere. If there's a somewhere, it's Lexus behind it. It didn't fucking matter. Just bunch of filler that you could easily cut out and not a goddamn. Actually, something would change. It'd be a shorter movie. Oh, there's a laundry cut. Fuck your laundry cut. The only long cuts there should be is in the fucking script when you're shredding it. You cut it, you cut it, and you shred the fucker. Shred the script. If I had a printer, I'd print it off and fucking. Shredded on camera. You have Luth Jr. talking to Holly Hunter saying, The red tapes are coming, the red tapes are coming, and tapping. And that's where you know she's not buying the Eisenberg because he wants the kryptonite in, and she's stopping it because we don't want contraband in. And she's like, You can't. Uh, Give me piss and call it Granny's Peach Tea, and I'm not going to drink it. Which will be used later with the legless guy. And then it has a shitload of dream scenes. Really awkward, because you don't know the fucking dream scenes. You just see uh, Bruce Ben Affleck look into his crypt where his parents are buried. You see in the background that May Wayne Manor is burned down. Why is it burned down? I don't know. It's just like the... I don't know. I don't know why it's burned down. It's burned down for the fuck of it? Did he have a party that went out of control? Did he get drunk and a fucking candle fell down? I don't know why it's burned down. If there was a solo movie first, maybe we could know. Just saying. And then... Blood seeps out of the crypt, and a fucking fake-ass-looking giant bat attacks Ben Affleck. Isn't that a scene they wanted for Batman Forever, and they cut it out because it was fucking stupid? So, you're telling me... Um, maybe it was in one of the comics, and someone will tell me which comic it was. The only time I remember that is fucking Batman Forever, and just makes me go, yeah, you saw you store Edward Nidma from Batman Forever for Jesse Eisenberg, and then you stole that fucking deleted shit for this movie. That's a good Batman movie to be stealing from. But if it's in a comic, you tell me, because I don't know. I'm admitting I don't know. I'm like, it just, just looks stupid. A fucking giant bat attacks Ben Affleck. It's a dream. Bruce gets invited to Junior's place. And that's where you get the the 
he looks at Robin's costume and the joke's on you. I'm like, you know what? You show me fucking movies that I'd rather be fucking seen. I want to see that movie where that happened. Can I see that movie? Can I see that movie instead? Hell, you do have half the movie be Batman like the normal Batman and have that happen halfway through. Please. Please. You didn't make a two and two and a half hour movie as long as it's not fucking boring. This movie's boring. What has happened so far? The origin of Batman that we already fucking know. The ending of fucking Man of Steel that we already fucking saw. A bat tornado tearing Kelly's fucking Peter Pan. Um, Africa, where Jimmy Olsen gets killed and no one fucking says anything. No one fucking notices. No one. Um, everyone thinks Superman's an asshole and I don't blame him. A cop who can't shoot shit and Batman leaves. Shitloads of Jesse Eisenberg acting like a fucking dumb shit. Gorilla teeth are coming and tapping and popping cherries into people's asses. Or mouths. <laughs> <laughs> oh I fucking hate. I hate that I saw this movie. The Sausage Factory doing a show on it. I, I wish I got paid for this. I wish I got paid for this fucking bullshit. I fucking tell them too on the Sausage Factory. I would, I don't, someone owes me some fucking money for this shit. I'm not that. Well, I'm not being serious. I'm just. Just nothing fucking happens. What is. What is there to defend about this movie? What? What? The silly Jesse Eisenberg shit? Ben... Ben Affleck and Eric Cabell meet. And Ben Affleck's talking about how Superman's an asshole. And Superman's like, well, not many share your opinion. And I'm like, are you sure? Because all we've seen are people hate your ass. Because the mind that you're saving people hasn't come up yet. All we've seen is people who hate your ass. The Senate hates, most of them hate your ass. People, shitloads of news feed and should we have a Superman? All these questions they get asked and there's no fucking answer that it goes into. It seems that most people hate your ass. I don't blame them. Bruce is, he's looking, he's trying to look for the USB and the fucking girl's going to be Wonder Woman. She stole the shit. Wonder Woman didn't need to be in this film. And then you get, again, one of the most depressing hero montages ever. Oh, it's a burden. Like, like it's a fucking burden. Oh, my God. I'm having to save this girl. And the news, and the news, and the news. Keep talking and talking and talking about the shit. He's driving a big-ass boat. Which I didn't understand what the fuck he was doing that for. The shuttle that you saw in the trailer. The flood that you saw in the trailer. And that was it, by the way. That's all. That's it. It's like, oh man, I hate being Superman. I hate it, man. Fuck being Superman, man. That's what you feel like. I didn't think that's what Superman should do. Especially when you're later going to kill him. Oh no, Superman! Great, a super asshole died. I'd be like, yay! Let's have a party now. You know, it's more than just a couple actions to show us. You also need the character. You need the warmth. You need scenes like Superman the movie. When you see the scene where all those powers and I try and save them and you know that cornfield sequence and him having you know him smiling and running in the corn running you know in the bus and he's he beats the kids to home and and uh you show him frustration he kicks the football right in outer space but he when he when he's in the Daily Planet. It's like, oh, hey, how's it going? He's trying to shake everybody's hand. 
So you buy that this is a nice guy. This is a generally good guy. This is a guy who people again make fun of, but he's like, okay, you don't make fun of me, but I believe in this stuff. I really do. That's why in Avengers 2, I love when Tony Stark cursed and Captain America goes, harsh language. Oh, that slipped out. Because that's who he is. That's why I love Chris Evans' Captain America. That is Superman in Marvel. Chris Evans, that's how you do it. It's right fucking there. Here, it's like they're looking at thin air and don't know what the fuck they're doing. So, Luther bails, Luther Jr. bails that latest guy because he got arrested for the spray paint in the statue and gives him a new wheelchair, which leads into something. Uh, Bruce and Diana talk. It's like something out of this Dark Knight pisses. Great, another fucking movie I hated. You might as well replace Diana with Catwoman slash Anne Hathaway. Because the same fucking shots, same fucking shit where they're kind of flirting with each other. Ben Affleck gets a USB and he's watching. And again, the editing, the editing is awful. Because he's watching, right? Like, if I'm watching... And it immediately cuts to the fucking, looks like the fucking desert from Mad Max. You're like, that'd be like me going, what? Exactly. <sighs> this oh my god. And for what I understand, this, this is like a, it's a dream. Maybe it's a vision. Okay, what happens in this scene? The shit with the fucking, uh, the reject from the road warrior. Okay, pretty much. By the way, this is the second time we've seen Batman in 51 minutes. Yeah, I took some notes for time just to show you this two and a half hour fucking movie. The second time we see Batman is 51 minutes. The first time he didn't do anything, but we just saw that he branded someone. The second time it's a fucking dream scene. Yeah, this is such a great intro for Batman. The second time, the first time you see him in action is a fucking dream scene. A reject location of the Road Warrior. Or that piece of shit Resident Evil movie. The third one, what the fuck was it called? I don't remember. Okay. You have Batman in this coat. Which is funny, someone mentioned he looked like Kevin Smith from Mall Rats with the goggles and the coat and shit. People he's beating, he gets kryptonite. Some of the people are the Superman soldiers. Which I know this is like his dream or nightmare or vision, but all I could think of was when uh, Kevin Smith when he talks about the death of Superman back in the day, it's like, why would Superman need guards? Why would he need soldiers? <laughs> and then funny enough, they did it here. Uh, again, this is a dream, or it's not real, or it's a vision, or whatever the fuck it is. Nightmare, whatever. And that, I'll get to why I say whatever. I wasn't sure which is which, because... Yeah, a, a halfway decent fight because it's shot in a 360 and you have Batman shooting and hitting people at the butt of this machine gun and shooting and hitting for about a minute or two and then they just pile and dog pile on him and as they're doing it these CGI creatures are pop out of the fucking woodwork I'm like what is this fucking mimic what the fuck is this what is going on here I mean what and apparently from looking into it, this is leading up to a comic called Injustice. For what I understand, that's when Superman's a bad guy. And you have this guy, Dark Side. I some people pronounce it Dark Side, some Dark Seed. I'll say Dark Side. That that's what I'm thinking. Is this a nightmare or is it a vision? And the reason I'm guessing it's a vision. Well, what you saw in the trailer or the clip where Superman comes down and then takes off the mask, looks like he's ready to punch Batman in the heart, and then Ben Affleck wakes up. 
But immediately when he wakes up, there's a guy who I guess is the fucking Flash with this like electricity thing on him. Uh, you were right about him. Lois was the key. And then he wakes up again. So I'm like, you just had a dream within a dream. But then, is it a dream? But people say, well, the Flash went back in time. So what? He went back in time into a fucked dream? He went back in time to a person's dream? I thought the Flash... I didn't know the Flash was Freddy Krueger. The Flash is Freddy Krueger now? He can go into people's dreams? It's like the fucking John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness? We did messages in the future in your dreams? Is that what it is? Is this John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness? It is the Prince of Darkness. This fucking movie's the Prince of Darkness. Again, I didn't know the Flash was Freddy Krueger. It's not like he sees this and then it disappears. No, he sees this and then he wakes up again. I'm like... So, it's the Flash go back in time. So he went back in time and also went into his dream as well. Again, this doesn't deserve 30% Rotten Tomatoes. It deserves fucking lower. I have to do... I have, I have this white flag just... Just a fucking white flag. Give me a break of that fucking candy bar you put acid in. She's the key. You've always been right about him. So, again, he went back into a dream. And then, wait. You also want to say that this is leading up to Superman being a bad guy? He's already an asshole. And now in the future, then you tell him, and now he's going to be a bad guy in the future. <laughs> this is such a great Superman, isn't it? He's such a great Superman. Please explain to me. <laughs> oh my fucking god. The second Superman movie, and you, you kill him off, and then you say he's going to be a bad guy in the future. Does it end? You have to like set up about ten more fucking movies between all these people. At least ten. Stuff them all at the asshole. It's time travel, but it's a dream, and yes. So Ben Affleck's looking more into this guy, and oh, it's not a dirty bomb; it's a uh, kryptonite. And that's where he gets his sp speech with Jeremy Irons. How many good guys are left, and how many stay? How many guys stay that way? And again, I guess that sort of. Referencing maybe Robin, but again, I'm like, can I see that movie? You're when you're explaining a movie that's better than the one you're showing, like you're hinting at a better movie than what you're giving us. That's not a good fucking thing. All this shit you're doing with Alfred and why happened Robin? I want to see that movie. Hey, can I see that movie, please, instead? Of this bullshit, boring, boring, boring. And you get more of this lowest subplot with the bullets. And I'm like, why are these people thinking Superman's a murderer when one of the key evidence is fucking bullets? Is he popping bullets out of his butthole? Give me a break. They get the third time you see Batman. And he has a Batmobile. This is all that happens in the scene. One car flies off and he drags it. I'm like, great. You know, I saw this shit better in Fast Five, at the end of Fast Five. But he hits a car, it flies off, he drags it, lets it go. That car flies to another car. He shoots his guns for 10 seconds and stops one car. The Batmobile somehow gets over here, flies off, and cuts the top part of this truck. He shoots a shitload of rockets and hits nothing. I don't know what the fuck they hit, but he's like, he shot a bunch of rockets and they just, I guess, hit the building, hit the wall. So I guess it can't aim for shit. Um, oh, then they get away. 
to Superman steps in, and that's where you get the entire scene. The first time Batman vs. Superman actually meet in costume in a movie called Batman vs. Superman is one hour and three minutes in. Again, it's Batman vs. Superman. And the first time they actually meet in costume, I'm not talking about as Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne, which by the way, they've only had one scene as well. One time in costume, first time, it's just Superman opens the top. When that bat signal goes up, don't go to it. The bat is dead. Bury it. Consider this mercy. I'm like, what the fuck? How does super Superman... That's how Superman talks? That's Superman? Bury it. Consider this mercy. Da -da 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 -da. Fuck you, you asshole. Fuck you. You fucking prick. You piece of shit. Fuck you. Fuck Zack Snyder. Fuck David Goyer. This is an insult to Christopher Reeve's memory of Superman. Christopher Reeve's Superman actually made us believe a man could fly. This doesn't make you believe a man's a gigantic asshole. Make you believe a man could fly? Does it make you believe the guy's a fucking prick? Fuck this movie. Stupid ass. God damn it, man. The more talking about the more you fucking pissed. Then the other scene with his mom, and the mom's going, Oh, you could be anything, you could be angel, or be none of it. You don't own this world a thing. You never did. And then at the end, just random shit. They put in a fucking blender. They farted it out. And whatever landed, they just shuffled it in. Then you have more Lois with this bullet shit that leads nowhere. All it says, let's court made the bullets. What, the frame, Superman? Yeah, because these people are fucking idiots. Because why would Superman use bullets? At least if you don't frame them, let it be look like his heat vision. Or if he had a nice breath, let it look like that. Not just fucking bullets. I I'm sorry that humanity are dumbasses. I apologize. And more about the fucking news. I hate the news. And they're interviewing the wheelchair guy. And Ben I was talking about the checks. And, and uh, Superman finally walks to the Senate to talk. Finally. And the Superman sucks. I've said that like 50 times, but I guess, again, Superman doesn't have x-ray vision. He doesn't. He just does not. Uh, well, that sucks. So wait, you'll give shit to the old Superman movies for adding powers, but this doesn't get shit for deleting powers? He has super hearing. One time he heard Jeremy Irons talking with Ben Affleck, you know, after they met. But, like, he can't hear a bomb? Because, yeah, the wheelchair guy has a bomb. And Holly Hunter realizes something going on because she looks over and she sees a bottle of piss that says the grandma's peach tea. So there's a bottle of piss. And Holly Hunter freaks out over... Holly Hunter's a good actress, and she has to literally sit there and freak out over a bottle of piss that says grandma's peach tea. And the wheelchair guy explodes. I guess Superman didn't hear the bomb. If he had x-ray vision, maybe he'd be like, duh, 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 duh. Wait a minute, that's a bomb? Oh, shit. I mean, is <laughs> Superman doesn't need any money. He's fucking the world through hungry whores. I don't want to ever see another man like him. Superman didn't need any money. He's fucking people up the ass like a glory. Fucking hole and they're everyone in this movie's a fucking whore and a bore. Oh, just for some reason that song popped in my head. If you don't know, it's a song when the Death of Superman comic came out and that band, that band that had that song. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Crash Test Dummies. That's who it was. I believe it was them. 
They had a Superman song. Uh, I just... I went this far. Might as well go the whole way. So, a jar of piss. I never thought a Batman Superman movie... Uh, one crucial point is a jar of piss. Jar of piss. And by the way, when the place blows up and Superman's like up top, he has no reaction. He's just... That's his reaction. Not like, oh my god, are there survivors? Let me look. Let me look. Are there survivors? Is it, you, know, you know, let me help as many as I can. No, it's just... I'm like, that's not Superman. That's not Superman. That's not Superman. The whole center blew up and he's acting like he... He... Got a fucking blister. That's not Superman. And then what's worse is... Uh, oh, by the way, a friend of mine will ask me, you know in the scene where uh, Ben Affleck has his newspaper that says, you let your family die? He's watching the news. He takes it out of his pocket, I don't know, or out of his ass, and then just reads it. And I'm like, he just keeps that, I guess? He just pulled it out? See, I thought like someone sent that to him to fuck with him, or was fucking with him. No, it's just he pulled it out. I'm doing this because I want to hit something. And then even worse, Superman tossed the Lois. Super, you know, fuck, he's not Superman. In name only. He's super shit. Super shit. Super fuck kid. Super ass. I wasn't looking. All this time. Superman was never real. It was just a dream from a farmer in Kansas. And Superman leaves like a bitch. He runs away to the Arctic. What's up with these heroes running away? Mark Hamill, Luke ran away in the Force Awakens. Superman just runs away. Stupid! Superman just leaves like a pussy! And he's an asshole! He's not like, I must find who did this. I know bullshit, oh, he's still learning. How many fucking movies does it take for him to learn? How many movies? Give me a number. Throw a number out there. Throw a number. Which movie? Throw a number. I mean, oh, by the way, hasn't it been like almost one and a half to two years since Man of Steel? How many years does it take for him to learn something? How many? Because they say it was 18 months later after Man of Steel. How many? How, how much time does it take? Give me a number. Is there a certain number? Mr. Man leaves. Now Bruce is working out. Jesse Eisenberg's stupid ass. Uh, um... um I forget what the fuck he did now. Um, oh yeah, part of that USB. Oh, don't forget that was a picture of Wonder Woman from 1918 that shows. Oh well, she's not human. Oh yeah, the, now I remember. He has Zod's body. Starts this Kryptonian machine with the fingerprints. Um, he used like kryptonite to take the fingerprints off. Of course, I'm thinking, well, you know, fuck it. Oh, they won't start. So he cuts his own hand. And apparently, by the way, if you take Michael Shannon and Jesse Eisenberg's blood, you get something that looks like Doomsday. Well, doesn't look like Doomsday, but a fucking orc spork. I mean, I'm like, so Zod plus Jesse Eisenberg looks like Doomsday? This whole plot is stupid. Everything about this movie is stupid. Fucking just stupid. 
And what happened? Didn't Russell Crowe have a thing? Like his spirit or his ghost or his uh, AI? I guess they couldn't afford Russell Crowe, so he's out of the picture. He doesn't... Or did he... I don't remember Man of Steel. Did, was that thing still around Russell Crowe? Or they just couldn't pay him? People still hating Bat... I mean, people still hating Superman. Burn them, burn them. Oh, by the way, this Batman for Superman. Man, thank God we got so much Batman and Superman doing shit, right? No. Just him, S Superman in the Arctic, sees Kevin Costner, and they talk. I guess Superman's schizophrenic or he's crazy or what the fuck. Sees Kevin Costner and then he disappears. And you have Bruce and, I mean, you have Ben Affleck and Jeremy Irons talking. Uh, Martha Kent gets kidnapped to somehow, some way, J.C. Eisenberg knows who the fuck everyone is. He knows that Superman's Clark Kent. I mean, the world, I mean, no one else can tell, but J.C. Eisenberg somehow finds that out somehow. Because he, he, he just does. They don't really explain it. Um, kidnaps Martha Kent. Uh, Batman, who's in the suit now, turns the signal on. Lois is taken to Junior, pushes Lois off, and Superman saves her for the second time. The second time now he saved her. And then again, Sly, I mean, Superman goes up and says, I'll take you without breaking you. That's more than you deserve. And I'm like, this ain't fucking Superman. I don't give it. This ain't fucking Superman. I mean, Batman, I could, you could go with edgy. Superman is not... That, okay, I'm a big Ninja Turtle fan. If they made a movie and Leo was the hothead, you know, asshole, I'm like, wait a minute, that's not Leo, that's Raph. Why don't you do that shit for Raph to do? It's just... Although, I don't like Leo, so make him the bad guy and Raph kick his ass. Okay, maybe, uh, if they're doing that... Uh, I'm falling apart here. I swear, I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart. And for some reason, Jesse Eisenberg wants Batman dead. I don't know why. I know later on it kind of seems like he's working with Dark Side. I guess, again, you wouldn't know that because they don't tell, they don't mention the name Dark Side. I had to look the shit up. I don't think you're supposed to do that. You had, I mean, literally, you have to look the shit up. Does the movie don't tell you? Does they expect you to turn in for the next ten movies? So, but he wants Batman dead for some reason. Again, I don't know why. I guess he assumes that uh, Batman will kill him, or at the end, like, why do you? Why? I don't know why he wants Batman dead. I don't know what. I don't know what. I don't know what his plan is. I really don't. He's just crazy. Junior's crazy. And then, okay, like I said, Martha Kent is kidnapped. Superman has to fight Batman, which I'm like, this is, seems like an easy way to get these two to fight. I mean, you think it would have been a bit more complicated, or that there'd be 50 different ways for these two to get out of this situation, but to just... I'm surprised... You know, I'm surprised it's not fucking Michael Bay's name on this. I think if you put in some fucking dick jokes and some racist shit, then it'd be fucking Michael Bay. I really do. I really do. It's how stupid this fucking movie is. And it stops in the middle just for Diana, the Wonder Woman, to look at the USB and then again teases for the Flash. Cyborg, Aquaman, Aquaman's a dick. Superman tries to talk and then Batman has these weird traps. He has a sound trap and then he has a trap of Gatling guns to shoot Superman. Gatling guns. The Man of Steel. Uh, 
I thought Batman was a detective. You know how people bitch about, well, complain about Keaton's Batman and all that stuff? He's not a detective. Batman doesn't know that bullets don't hurt Superman. Oh, but part of what? Part of what plan? What plan? To weaken him? Bullets are going to weaken him? And Superman just uses laser, his heat vision. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. And I'm like, why doesn't he just grab him and grab Batman and talk to him? Hell, there's one moment that he could have done that, but instead he just pushes Batman and he flies like 50 feet. And I'm like, why don't you grab him and says, listen, you don't want to believe me? Fine, but they have my mom. But, you know, that's too easy. It's too easy. Because that's not what the Dark Knight Returns was about. It, that's not what the why they were fighting. They were fighting for a different reason. Which is why you couldn't just do it like that. And they were friends for years. By the time Dark Knight Returns. Friends. Which made the fight more interesting. Because they were friends. Or comrades. Or acquaintances. Think about Superman. He has fought Zod and Batman and fucking Zod's day. So technically that is Zod. So Zod and Batman. That's all he's fought. And now he's dead. But he'll be brought back because they don't really go with it. You see a fucking dirt levitate. So he's dead, but he's not dead. You know what? Fuck that. I wish he was dead. So dialing guns, of course, they're going to do nothing. Batman, once again, he throws a smoke bomb, a normal smoke bomb. And, again, I thought Superman had X-ray vision. So he would look through it and be like, no. Instead, he rushes through and he's like, where's Batman? And I'm like... Really? Really? I guess the writers... I, he must not have X-ray vision. It's kind of like Spider-Man films when he doesn't have his uh, spidey sense. He just doesn't have his X-ray vision. Again, people get pissed that, well, uh, he, uh, they added this, and I'm like, but you're okay that they took away shit like his X-ray vision. His ice breath, does he have his ice breath? I guess not, because he never uses that either. At least not in this movie. <clears throat> so he just tricked <laughs> and Batman shoots a kryptonite smoke which he breathes in and somehow doesn't die uh, I do like the line that he, Ben Affleck says you're not brave men are brave and then you get to the fight <clears throat> if you've seen this movie for this fight I don't understand why you would be happy with this fight. <clears throat> this fight... <clears throat> Let me give you a play-by-play -play of this epic fight. Play-by-play. -play. Which, by the way, this is now the second time Batman and Superman have met in costume. And we're about an hour and 40 minutes in. And this is the second time. And it's called Batman vs. Superman. Think about that. If it's his fight, they're punching each other. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, the scene in the trailer where Batman goes down and hits Superman and go through the skylight glass. Batman punches a couple times, head butts. Batman tries to kick, just grab, throw him through a wall. He's punching Superman, but then it's not working. And then when he's punching Superman, it's like boom, boom, boom. And Superman and Batman's like, <gasps> which I'm thinking, what did you expect? Why are you acting so surprised? I thought Batman was smart. Then Superman throws Batman, and he shoots another that gas kryptonite missile thing. And then 
Batman gets a sink, hits him in the head, takes him, throws him down, drags him, throws him like this, and that's the fight. Because he gets his kryptonite spears ready to stab him. There's your epic fight between Batman and Superman. Punches. He punches Superman. He headbutts Superman. Superman throws him. Two kryptonite gases. Grabbing Batman's leg, throwing him through a wall. Batman hitting him through a skylight and hitting Superman with a sink. And to be honest, this, I mean, Superman was holding back, okay. But uh, it still made Superman look like a pussy. And it was a shitty fight. And it was a lame fight. And if you want to see this fight done better, watch the animated Dark Knight Returns with Peter Weller. Please. Please watch that. Please. That's how you do that fight well. And plus, you give a shit because it's just a better movie and you, you understand the stakes. You, 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 it's just done better. It's done better. He's ready to stab him. And then Superman's like, Oh, you gotta save Martha. Now, for those who don't know, Superman's mom is Martha Kent. Batman's mom is Martha Wayne. So Batman's like, Why did you say that name, Martha? Then Lois pops in and says, No, Martha's his mom. Martha's his mom. Now, this is a Batman who is shooting machine guns, dragging cars, having them flip over. In a nightmare scene, he's shooting and fucking up people. He brands people who's been training and wanting to kill Superman for about a year and a half. Ready to stab him in the heart. All it took was Lois to say, his mom's name is Martha. And, and throws the spear away. And that's all it took. That's all it took. And now they're friends. Now they're friends. Oh man, but it made sense because it's Martha, Martha. I'm like this guy again. He's been late. He's been shown as a psychopath that uh, is really, really pissed off. Does that listen to anything when Superman was like, "Let's loot through, let's loot through." And Batman didn't give a shit. And he's ready to stab him in the heart. Literally. Not wound him. Kill him. And uh, all it takes is Lois say, it's Martha. And he's okay. So it takes. And now they're friends. And he says, Martha will not die tonight. And Jeremy Irons immediately finds where she's at. He shoots a bit with the Batwing. And at an hour and 50 minutes in, you get my one scene I like. Three minutes of him just beating the fuck out of people. Taking guys, slamming them. Taking a, a, a bat thing, doing like a scorpion, get over here, punches it, or punch, kicks a guy, takes a crate, throws it so a guy flies back. This guy with a flamethrower ready to kill Martha Kent. He has like a machine gun, shoots the tank, blows up. I'm like, why can't that be in a better movie? Honestly, just, just watch that movie and leave. I mean, watch that scene and leave. And because Junior's plan failed, whatever the fuck his plan was, he creates his orc. He even says, this is your doomsday.
And this Doomsday is as big as the fucking Silver Samurai and the Wolverine. Which... Why do they do that? I mean, the Silver Samurai in, in this... Doomsday was not that fucking big. But no, he's gotta be as big as the fucking Silver Samurai. And this... People are like, yeah, this action scene's great. What's so great about this action scene? Okay, let's go through it. Superman just thrown a couple times. The military shoots at this fucking big ass orc looking motherfucker. And this guy has energy blasts. Literally, what is the fucking Dragon Ball Z? And then Superman takes him in outer space. That's the next thing. Takes him in outer space. Punches him a couple times. And the government stupidly is like, yeah, let's shoot the nuclear weapon at him. And Superman is grabbing Doomsday, or the orc motherfucker, and the nuclear blast hits. The orc bitch falls down, and he gets spikes, and now he can shoot lasers out of his eyes like he's fucking Deadpool from X-Men Origins Wolverine. And Superman is now a fucking zombie from Resident Evil. And he floats out there for a good chunk of time. Batman, he's like, I need that kryptonite spear. It's back in Gotham. I gotta get him to chase me. He shoots at it a little bit. Then the sun heals Superman in 10 seconds. Batman's flying and he gets shot down. He's ready to die. Goes, oh shit. Wonder Woman comes in, uses her bracelets to deflect. And mainly it's Wonder Woman beating up Doomsday. Superman barely does shit. And Batman does nothing. Batman just runs away. Batman, you know, again, that scene in the trailer where he has his thing and gets out of the way with a, a blast, that's from Doomsday, not Superman. That's from Doomsday. And then he just dodges some other stuff. And he shoots one fucking kryptonite pellet at the end of the fight. And that's all that Batman does. Superman, he does a couple hits, but then Lois is in trouble for the third time. He rushes in to save Lois. It's mainly Wonder Woman coming in and slashing and slashing and blocking and slashing. Doomsday. She has more of a fight than Superman. And you're taking the death of Superman comic. How am I wrong? How am I wrong? Explain to me in detail how I'm wrong about that. Wonder Woman does more in the fight than Superman in his own fucking story. Superman doesn't do shit. Except save Lois for a third time. And gets the spear... And then I'm thinking, well, wait a minute, okay, this is kryptonite. Why don't you have Wonder Woman throw the spear? Because you're weakened by the kryptonite. Hey, Batman, you throw the spear. You built, you made the fucker. Have Wonder Woman throw the spear. She has superhuman strength. That would make sense. But no, he drives it in. Doomsday stabs Superman. He dies. Um, Junior is shaved, has his head shaved in prison. That's where Batman is talking with him, and he's like, oh, you they're coming. Ding dong, the god is dead. And he's like, and then he's like, ding, 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 as the camera pans back. Ding, ding, dawn, fuck you, dip, 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 shit, shit, shit. The bill's already been run. Yeah, your ass gonna be stunned. Cause you're in jail. So go to hell, hell, hell. Your ass is gonna be grass. And the inmates are gonna mow it. They bury... They have this fucking long, long funeral scene sequence. 
Bruce Wayne tossed to Diana saying, we got a former Justice League. And then they put dirt on the coffin, it levitates. Superman's not dead. The movie's over. I don't want to punch something in the face. I mean, people go, this movie's not that bad. I, I don't understand it. I really don't. You have a film called Batman vs. Superman, and there's barely any Batman vs. Superman in it. In fact, what does Superman really do in this movie? He throws a guy through a wall to protect Lois. He fucks up the Batmobile and threatens Batman, which I didn't know Superman threatened people. You have the worst montage I've seen, because it's supposed to be he's saving people, but it's depressing. And it's what you saw in the trailer. The shuttle, the flood, putting a girl on the ground. And then carrying a big fucking boat for some reason. That's it. And then the Senate blows up and he has no emotion. He runs away like a bitch. And then he fights Batman in a shitty fight. How is this fight good? How? How is this fight good? Nothing happened. This is the epic fight? The fight of the century. Yeah, that. Really? I want my money back. Batman, what does he do? Aftermath, he branded someone. A nightmare scene, Mad Max style. Halfway decent, you know, he's fighting people. 360, okay. Too short. Wish it wasn't a dream scene. Wish it was in a solo Batman movie. Which is what they should have done. They rushed it. They want to catch up to Marvel. They fucked up big time. I'm sorry. You did not need Wonder Woman in this. I thought she was a shitty actress. I could barely understand her fucking accent. And then Wonder Woman pops up and then she's doing most of the fighting against Doomsday. I'm like, can't Superman do that? The most he did was going up in space, then gets blasted by a nuclear, and fights a little bit along Wonder Woman. I mean a little bit. Like 30, 40 seconds. Then dies. He's put the speed. Which for some reason you couldn't give it to Wonder Woman or Batman, because Batman was doing nothing in the against Doomsday. Nothing. What do you do to but what can you do against Doomsday? That's the point of Batman. He's got gadgets. He's got shit he can do. He's got a brain. <laughs> Maybe not this Batman, but I don't know. Superman is a complete other prick. I hate his guts. This is the I, I this is the worst Superman. I'm sorry, I'd rather watch Superman Returns ten times. I know people would be pissed. I'd rather watch that movie ten times. Because that's more Superman than this. I, I can live with Kumar's, you know, prison, sh prison shanking him at the end over this shit. Over this shit. I really can. I really can. Brandon Routh was a much better Superman than Henry Cavill. It was Superman. This is a fucking poser. Is a wannabe fuck. Batman, you know what? Give him his own movie, then I can judge, because he's barely in this fucking thing. And he has motivations, they're not really into it. You know, and when you're hinted, I'm like, that sounds like a better movie. And then I'm thinking, if you're just a psychopath, how come you're catching all these villains and Suicide Squad, but these regular people you're killing and branding? Explain that to me. In Suicide Squad, there's supposed to be people that Batman caught, right? Why isn't he killing their ass? But these regular guys, you don't brand and kill them? You see how this doesn't make sense? So he's letting every, all these fucking big villains like Joker live. Live. But for the 20, I mean, but, but. And Jesse Eisenberg is so horrendous. If people like him, I don't know why. That's cool if you do, but I don't get it. Jesse Eisenberg is so fucking annoying. It's making my back hurt. It's making my eyes hurt. I hate this fucking movie. I hate this movie with a passion. I hate this movie. 
I hate it. 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 It's. I, I hate to say it's worse than Man of Steel. This pit. I hate Man of Steel, and this pissed me off anymore because the Batman stuff could have made a solo movie. None of the shit was sh worthless shit. The teaser didn't do jack shit. Why am I excited for an Aquaman movie when it's just Roman Reigns going? Fuck the Jason Mamma Mia. Well, I'm excited for Cyborg when it's just, oh, there's Joe Moore and cool, I haven't seen him in a while. And something in the background who screams, ah! I'm like, that's supposed to be, be like, yeah, I can't wait for Cyborg. I'll stick with Cyborg with John Clyde motherfucking Van Damme. It's too goddamn long. It's too bloated. It's too stuffed. It's fucking boring. Boring as fuck. The motivations, how you get Batman Super in the fight is stupid. This could be all solved if someone had a fucking brain cell between them. And you rush good stories that you could tell. You rushed them. You put Dark Knight Returns and Death of Superman and a prequel to du Justice League in the same fucking movie. Plus all the repercussions of that shitty Man of Steel movie. God damn it, and then you did this fucking hat director to direct Justice League. Wow, that's gonna be so fucking great. Is he gonna put 50 storylines in that one too? Is he gonna put the return, the rebirth of Superman with all the fake Superman and as well as Dark Seed and as well as the killing joke and as well as 50 other storylines too? The Justice League Part 1? God damn it, man. Well, I guess not the killing joke, but some fuck is going on with the Joker. Which I know Ben Affleck's in Suicide Squad for like a cameo. Which then just makes me think like, or is this supposed to be, oh, but he's the, he's, he doesn't kill now anymore. So, yeah, give us a psychopath Batman and then, and the, and then you, this is backwards bullshit. I'm, I'm done. I've talked for fucking. I'm. I. I can already see people being so pissed off. I'm sure the thumbs down are going to be in the hundreds and thousands. It's too fucking long. I'm not watching it. You. You're wrong. I'm not wrong for my opinion. Why do you see it? You know, I'm asking myself the same fucking question. You just saw a cam. It was good fucked enough. You need to see for a spectacle. Fuck spectacle. Spectacle does not mean good movies. It doesn't. And nothing else to say. Fuck this fucking movie. Fuck this shit.